Welcome to the first episode of Pod Nuts. I'm Steve Charbino, I'm your host, and this is a podcast about computer repair. We are going to cover pretty much everything there is to know about this subject, so hopefully you will be an expert after listening to what we cover in the show. I plan on having the show once a week for about an hour. This episode's a little shorter because it's basically an introduction to the podcast. But we do cover some uh, very good data later in the podcast about the blue screen of death. So if you ever had any questions about that, I have some solutions for you. If you have any comments, special requests, input, or would even like to be a guest on the show, fill out the form on the homepage of podnuts.com and let us know what's on your mind. I definitely want to hear from you. This way, the show can be about what you guys want to learn. Now, quickly, let me just tell you a little bit about myself so I'm not a total stranger to you. My name's Steve Cherubino. I own a computer repair shop in Havertown, Pennsylvania, which is pretty much right outside of Philadelphia. My business is called Geek Force, not to be confused with Best Buy's Geek Squad, and my website is www.geekforceonline.com. I've been repairing computers for years, and I figured it's about time to let everybody in on some of the secrets and techniques that I've been using to get the job done. The format of the show is we're going to pick a topic and discuss that topic for the length of the show. It might be even a couple topics. Usually we'll be having a guest, but in this first episode there will be no guest. And maybe in the future we could do some live calls. Okay, let's get started here. This week's topic, blue screen of death. I thought that that was a good topic for the first episode because Probably almost everybody here has had a computer crash and has gotten the dreaded blue screen of death. Um, what's the blue screen of death? For those of you who don't know, it's that screen when your computer just stops working all of a sudden and you you look at your screen and there's just a random garbled mess of numbers and commands and errors that probably you do not understand. A lot of times people see this and they, they think that it's the end of their computer Well, hopefully in this podcast, we could clear that up for you because it doesn't have to be the end of your computer. It's probably something that's fixable. So hopefully for those of you listening who think that uh, your computer has to be thrown out, hopefully I can ease your mind a little bit. I'm going to talk about, because I don't have anybody on the line today, I'm going to talk about what I do to handle the blue screen of death. I often have customers come into my shop and ask me um, if they could, if I could fix that. And uh, often I can. Here's what I do. The first thing I do is I take a Windows operating system disk, whether it be Windows 2000 or Windows XP, which is the common one. It's probably going to be XP. And I boot the computer from that disk. You, to boot from the CD... You have to tell the BIOS that that's the drive you want to boot from. If you boot from the hard drive, you're probably going to get the blue screen of death again. To boot from the CD-ROM, usually when you turn your computer on, you're going to see on your screen um, a logo of the company of the computer. And somewhere on that flash screen, it probably will say something about boot options or a boot menu. You might have to hit Escape or F12. I know on Dell's, it's F12. Hit that button, and then you'll get a menu asking you what drive you want to boot the computer from. Since the hard drive is not working, and that's why you're getting the blue screen, we want to boot from the CD. So make sure your Windows CD is in there, and boot from the CD. When you boot from the CD, before it actually starts, it's going to say press any key to boot from disk. you got to make sure to press any key. If you don't, it's just going to skip booting from the disk and boot from the hard drive. Okay, so once... It's booting from the CD. You're going to see a blue screen that says Windows is setting up. It's going to load drivers for about a minute or two. And then finally, it's going to say that um, Windows is is ready or I think it's going to say press Enter to install Windows or press R to go to the recovery console. Press And what we're going to do is press R to go to the recovery console. Once it's in the recovery console, you have to pick the, the operating system that you want to fix. It's usually number one where it says C colon Windows at the command prompt. So just type 1 and hit enter. And then it'll ask you for your administrator password. If you know what that is, type it in. Usually um, it's blank. So just hit enter and usually you'll get past that. If it does ask you for the administrator password, then you're going to have to find that out. Maybe we could talk about 
more about that at the end of the show. Okay, after you get past the administrator password, you're going to get a C prompt. At the prompt, I think it's going to be a C prompt. Pretty sure it's a C prompt. It's a prompt. At the prompt, type fix boot, F-I-X-B-O-O-T, and press enter. This is going to fix the boot sector on your hard drive, which could be causing the blue screen of death. If your blue screen, if you look at your blue screen of death before we even start this, and you notice that it says unmountable boot disk or unbootable drive, fix boot oftentimes for me handles that problem. It's the easiest, it's the quickest fix. That's why I always do it first. So type fix boot and it'll ask you if you really want to copy over that boot sector. Hit yes. It'll do it and then it'll tell you to restart your machine or it'll say that the, com the operation has completed. At that point, Take your Windows disk out, reboot the machine, and see if that fixes it. That might have fixed it right there, and then you have like a five-minute fix for that job. The blue screen might be gone. If it is not gone, we're going to move to the second choice for doing this, which is to run a program called Check Disk. Check Disk is, is run similar to how you ran FixBoot. So here's what you do. Put your Windows XP disk back in. Reboot the computer. At the boot menu, pick boot from CD, just like you did for, for the fixed boot option. Let it boot up. Choose the recovery console, just like last time. Uh, get through the administrator password. And instead of clicking or typing fix boot, type chkdsk space forward slash r and hit enter. And it'll start on a process where it's going to go through the disk and try to fix all the errors. Um, I would say maybe 50 to 70% of the time, in cases where fixed boot doesn't work, check disk has worked for me in clearing up the blue screen of death. Uh, unfortunately, check disk takes, could take hours to finish. So it's a longer fix. That's why I don't do it first off. Okay, so... Get check disk in motion, get it start running, go and do something for a couple hours. It's going to run through um, checking probably about four times. You're going to see the percentage go from nothing up to about 50, 60, 70 percent. Usually at about 70 percent, it starts over again. It's going to happen about four times. You'll know it's done when you get the command prompt again, and it says it'll say check disk has found errors or has not found errors and is finished. Once you get the command prompt, type the word.